what we have here is we have a CNC machine shop milling and turning, manual machine shop milling and turning, we have a mechanical shop, that's anything, nuts, bolts, hydraulic, hoses, swaging, that kind of work. Uh, we also have a clean fabrication, this is exotic material, stainless steel, aluminium, you couldn't afford your calvo, completely separate. We have a carbon steel fabrication facility and a carbon steel welding facility. We also have offshore team, there's 26 men offshore just now for us working in the North Sea and we also have a design engineering function in house so we do as you saw in the presentation CFD, uh, we do uh, pipe calculations, pressure vessels, heat exchangers, they're all done in house too. All the machines here you see are Mazak, they're all CNC, CNC is computer numeric codes so computer controlled machines. This is, this is a five axis milling machine so in the old world of milling there's X, Y and Z, the three planes, this has the fourth and fifth plane a and C is described here and how it generates the fourth and fifth plane is this table turns 360 degrees and the trunnions rotate 360 degrees so you're able to oscillate and mill at the same time so it's like a conventional milling head it means you can create round components on a mill that was impossible before Th these are two of our larger machines these are some of the largest CNC machines in Aberdeen at the moment these are both Mazak E670s they are brother and sister machine they're almost identical slightly bigger tool belt squeeze the control panel out of the way this is a very complex shape, although it's not a particularly large component. This is made of EN24T, it's a very hard material. It's been turned, as you can see, on the lathe function, but it's also been milled. So all the milling has been done in one operation. So this is what you would classically call as a lathe, although it's a bit more complicated than that now. So it has a chuck like a lathe, but it also has the function to mill. This is our pride and joy. This is the largest vertical turning lathe in Scotland at the moment. It's a, it's a Boast VTL, vertical turning lathe. It's set up for 25 tonnes in the chuck. It turns a diameter of 3.6 metres and a height of 3.4 metres. It's also four axis CNC, so it is a milling machine also. It operates a KUKA, which is a Japanese built robot to change and replace the tool posts. There isn't a conventional tool changer that can man this kind of kit. And these are tool tip vending machines, so it's the modern way to go. This whole facility is run with one storeman. We've only got one grumpy man. These are silently grumpy, if you know what I mean, they're perfect. They never sleep, they never go off. They automatically reorder themselves and they restock themselves. But the beauty of this is consignment stock. We don't pay until the operator beeps it out. It's, a, it's the modern way. All shops should be like this. So all the components here as per ISO get 100% inspection. So all the smaller parts that are handleable, they come in here, they get 100% inspection. We use Faro Arms, the proximity measurement machines. We have three of them. Shut doors, it's trying to be more temperature controlled. We're trying to keep it around 21. So your detail inspection is done in there. There's a small Faro Arm here, another one in there. So you're, you're able to almost to reverse engineer, so we only get something that looks like it's been at the bottom of the sea, you know, usual rotten to nothing. So that's the valve sometimes. And we, you, you draw the shape, it plots it on the screen, and you can work out what the PCDs would have been, what the depths would have been based on the shape, and you can make that into a model and make it. In fact, this is a, this is a fantastic example of it, a reverse engineering. Applies to all the, all the North Sea operators. Broken pump casing, made a new one from scratch. This department's for the welding of aluminium, stainless steel, non-carbon steel. So this is to give you that ISO, the BS384. So welding, cutting and jointing material is effectively all done in here. So if we give you a stainless steel pipe spool, we are saying 99.9% .9 guaranteed to be carbon-free environment. So there's been no welding and grinding. It's cross-contamination. Carbon steel fabrication facility, totally different, noisier, smelly. This is a water jet profiler. This is the largest in Aberdeen. It is, uses 60,000 PSI of water and sand. Fired through a 16 thou nozzle, the nozzle cuts the material so it's a cold cut, it's very safe, very clean. Behind these two hot profilers, they use oxyacetylene. All of these machines are CNC, computer numeric codes, they're all computer controlled. Fantastic examples of the things you can make on a water jet. These were put out as Christmas cards a couple of years ago, just for fun. It shows you how detailed you can do on these, very, very fine. This machine and this machine are accurate to 0 0.2 of a mil which is a machine intolerance really for water for profiling, it's fantastic. Carbon steel fabrication, so everything you would think, filters for sea chests, rollings, handrails, access ways, pipe spools, we do submerged arc welding here, sub arc. Our carbon steel pressure vessels are built in this hall as well, and it could be anything from one pipe spool to 1000, it's just a job and shop, we take what comes in, it's all steel welding. So all the processes, so TIG, MEG, stick or MMA, these kind of processes, they're all covered here, all processes. That's it, that's your tour of Whistle Stop with Whitaker Engineering.